Liar. Noun. A person who knowingly utters falsehood. Today's scurril is personal attack from the New York Times columnist uh, David Leonard. He wrote that I said, quote, that one third of the inmates in the federal prison system are illegal immigrants. That isn't what I said. I didn't say anything close to it. Just about a third of the uh, prison population in this country uh, is estimated to be illegal aliens. And, and it's costing us, no one knows precisely how much, to incarcerate what is about a third of our prison population who are illegal aliens. Let me get something uh, straight here for uh, those illegal aliens that might be watching the program. You have human rights. You do not have legal rights. Undocumented immigrants do have legal rights under the Constitution as well as many federal statutes. Now we want to try and check that number. 7,000. We can't. Just but so I can you know. tell you this. If we reported it, it's a fact. <laughs> you can't tell me that. You did Well, no, I just it. did. How can you guarantee that to me? Because I'm the managing editor, and that's the way we do business. We don't make up numbers, Leslie, do we? This advertisement from the Coalition for the Future American Worker cites a single disputed and misleading source regarding the impact of immigration upon African American employment and wages. The advertisement ignores an overwhelming body of economic research that shows that immigrants, in fact, have positive or neutral impacts upon employment and wages in the U.S. We find it more than a mere coincidence that Dobbs opposed E-Verify when it was part of comprehensive immigration reform, but seems to endorse it when it is part of a deportation-only bill. Fudging the facts for his own agenda isn't anything new for Lou, but directly contradicting himself and his reporters is just a new indication of his declining credibility. These rights are intended to protect all U.S. residents from discrimination and arbitrary government action. These rights are especially critical when hatred based on race, color, and national origin is on the rise.